Hello people, welcome back. This question is from GATE exam of 2008. It's for two marks. Just have a look at the statement. They are saying a 1 Mbps satellite link connects two ground stations. The altitude of satellite is 36,504 km. The speed of signal is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. What should be the packet size for a channel utilization of 25%? For a satellite link using go back 127 sliding window protocol, assume that the acknowledgement packets are negligible in size and that there are no errors during communication. Okay, so they are saying channel utilization must be 25%. That means we want efficiency to be 25%. Also, the communication is between two ground stations. Let us call them station A and station B. They are connected via a satellite link. That means whenever A wants to send some data to B, it cannot directly send. That data will first be sent to some satellite. Then that satellite is going to forward that data to B. Okay, so data is traveling like this. Now they are saying altitude of satellite is 36,000 something. That means roughly we can assume that distance between A and the satellite is 36,000. 504 kilometers. Similarly, this distance will also be 36,504 kilometers. So let me write it. Now let us find out propagation delay and transmission delay. Propagation delay is defined as distance between sender and receiver divided by the signal speed. So TP, which is propagation delay, will be distance divided by signal speed. What is the distance? Distance between the two of the nodes that want to communicate to each other is actually twice of this value. Okay, so I am taking distance to be equal to two times 36504 kilometers. Okay, because data is actually taking this path. So you can see what is the distance divided by signal speed. Signal speed is given as 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. So divided by 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. Now you can see the units are not equal. This is kilometer and this is meter. So let's make the units also equal. Multiply this numerator by 1000 to convert kilometer into meters. So this is into 1000 meter. Okay. Now, if you solve it, you are going to get 24336 into 10 raised to the power 3 minus 8, which is 10 raised to the power minus 5. And the unit will be seconds because meter and meter will get cancelled. Okay. Now, you can see 10 raised to the power 5 can be resolved by shifting decimal here. Okay, it is actually 10 raised to the power minus 5. So we will shift the decimal to left. That means it is 0.2 seconds approximately. Now let us find the value of transmission delay. Value of TT will be length of the packet divided by bandwidth. Length of the packet is not given in the question. We actually need to determine the value of L. But bandwidth is given, which is 1 Mbps. So this will be L divided by 1 Mb per second. Okay. Now let us find out what is the efficiency. Formula for efficiency is window size of sender divided by 1 plus 2a. That means what we are actually sending by what we can send in the best case. So in go back n, window size of sender is n. And in go back 127, window size of sender will be 127. So we are sending only 127 packets. Whereas if it's the best case, we can send 1 plus 2a packets. So let's find out the efficiency. It will be what we are sending, that means 127 packets, divided by what we can send in the best case, which is 1 plus 2a. So it is 1 plus 2a. A is defined as propagation delay 
डिवाइडेड बाय ट्रांसमिशन डिले सो इट विल बी प्रपोगेशन डिले इज पॉइंट टू फोर थ्री थ्री सिक्स दीज मेनी सेकेंड्स डिवाइडेड बाय एल अपॉन वन एमबीपीएस दैट मीन्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन एमबीपीएस अपॉन एल so if you have a look at the options all of the options are in bytes it is 120 bytes 60 bytes 240 bytes and 90 bytes okay so let us do one thing let us convert this unit into bytes so what you will get is m can be written as 10 raised to the power 6 don't write m is equal to 2 raised to the power 20 this is bandwidth so it will be 10 raised to the power 6 only so this m is replaced by 10 raised to the power 6 and bits are converted into bytes by dividing by 8 so i am dividing it by 8 this will become capital b okay now seconds and per seconds will get cancelled so this is cancelled also in question they are saying we want the efficiency to be equal to 25% that means 0.25 so let us equate it with 0.25 okay now you can see so if you solve it you are going to get l is equal to 120 c 2 by 8 means 1 by 4 so this is what you get multiply 0.25 by this denominator so this is what you are going to get this 25 will get subtracted from 127 so it will be 126.75 that means value of l is going to be this okay L is 120 and the unit is anyways bytes. See, it was bytes. So L is equal to 120 bytes. That means for getting efficiency of 25%, length of packet must be 120 bytes. Okay.